Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Gateway Church Cymru Online. My name is Luke Morgan, and I'm the pastor of Gateway, and I'd like to give you a warm welcome this evening. Thank you for joining us tonight as we come together to hear from God's Word. I know it's a great privilege this evening to have our former senior pastor, Pastor Robert Baldwin. He's going to be sharing God's Word with us tonight. He's going to be continuing his healing series, which he started last week. And I know many people were blessed by that message. And I know that you'll be blessed by this evening's message as well. So maybe we can begin our time together just by praying and asking God to speak to us tonight. And then I'm going to hand it over to Pastor Rob. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you that we're able to be found in your presence once again this evening. Lord, we thank you that you're a God who longs to speak to us, Lord. Lord, that you want to bring encouragement to our lives. Lord, I thank you that you are a miracle working God. Lord, that you are the healer. Lord, I just pray tonight that even as we hear your word, Lord, Lord, it will cause faith to rise in people's hearts. Lord, I pray that you will bring about healing in different situations this evening, whether it's physical or emotional, emotionally, Lord, or mentally tonight. Lord, I just pray you will bring healing in every area this evening. Lord, we just look to you when we place our trust in you. So, Lord, I pray, speak to us now through your word. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I pray you'll be encouraged by this word from Pastor Rob. Amen. Today, I want to speak to you on the amazing subject of healing and wholeness. If you have a Bible, please turn to Mark's Gospel, chapter 5 and verse 25. It says there, A certain woman had a flow of blood for twelve years and suffered many things from many physicians. She spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? He looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Daughter, your faith has made you well. The Greek word is sozo. Daughter, your faith has saved you. Daughter, your faith has healed you. Daughter, your faith, as the King James Version does it, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace, go in the shalom of God and be healed of your affliction. In the previous message on healing, we looked at healing within us, healing within nature, healing within the law, all surpassed by the healing that comes through the finished work of the cross. Healing made available to us through the Holy Spirit, through the name of Jesus, and through the Word of God. And so today we take that a step further and we look at this subject of healing and wholeness. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 23, the Apostle Paul says, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Note that. Spirit, soul and body. Three parts, yet one. That shouldn't surprise us for two reasons. One, we're created in the image of God. God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three, yet one. Co-equal, co-eternal. In Genesis 1, in verse 26, God says there in the kind of creation, 
let us create man in our image and after our likeness. So God created man in his image and after his likeness. Notice that. God said, let us, plural. Then God, singular, created. Three, but one. We're created. Spirit, soul, body. Three, but one. Also, everything within nature, in the law of physics, says, exists in, all matter exists in one and three states. Solid, liquid, gas. Think of water. Water can exist as ice, can exist as liquid water, can exist as steam. And all three are interchangeable. It is always water. God made it that way. And we're made of these three parts. Spirit, soul, body. Three, but one. Now let's look at them a bit more closely. The body. We all have a body. Some would like it to be thinner. Some of us would like it to be fitter. We look in the mirror. We can feel it. We can pinch it. We have a body. We have a soul. And the Greek is psyche, uh, which we get the English psyche or psychology from. But it's more than that. The soul it speaks, yes, of our mind, our emotion, our will, our conscience. But oh, also it speaks of our individuality. It speaks of our unique personality. To illustrate it, I feel the best way of illustrating is, I think you, for example, have a friend that you're in college with, someone you're close with, you might have shared digs with. But then after college, after graduation, you went your separate ways. Years down the line, you hear that this, someone lets you know that this one-time close friend is now very sick, has cancer. And you think, I should go and see them. When you get to where they live, you find that they're not quite what you expected. They look thin, emaciated. Their eyes are sunken, their, their abdomen swollen, their, maybe their hair's fallen out through the effects of chemotherapy. Just a physical, diseased shell. So you don't recognize them. But then, as you begin to talk, something within, from within that shell begins to shine out. The twinkle in the eyes, the mannerisms, the tone of voice. Something within the shell, the individuality, the unique personality, shines out. And you recognize them. I put to you, that is the soul. The soul. Oh, the soul is so vital, so important. The body has a beginning and has an end. It's a point and a man wants to die. The soul has a beginning, but no end. Is built for eternity, either with God or away from God. And then there's our spirit, the spirit part of our being. The spirit part of our being is the part of our being that relates to God. God is spirit and, and our spirit relates to him. Before we become Christians, it's dormant, it's there, but it's cut off because of sin. But then when we get saved, that spirit comes alive. Ephesians 2, 1 says, You hath he quickened, who are dead in your trespasses and sins. You come alive. You begin to experience God. The Bible becomes real. Prayer becomes real. You begin to relate to God. Jesus said in John 4, the God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And all by our spirit begin to become very God conscious and, and, and begin to commune with him and relate to him. And he with us. Wonderful. In Luke chapter 1, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she's pregnant by the Holy Spirit. 
and she goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth and after their initial greetings Mary says this she's pregnant in her body and she says my soul magnifies the Lord my oh God is so much greater than I ever thought my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior so there we have it a spirit a soul and a body when it comes to healing all these three are so important so often we just major on just the body the body the body it's interesting in fact in 1 Thessalonians 5 Paul doesn't say body soul spirit he says spirit soul body God relates first and foremost to our spirit you know maybe we've all at some time rather experienced a flu-like illness maybe you've recently experienced even the coronavirus the COVID-19 illness and when you're sick you if you're feverish you're aching in your body you're you're coughing and so on and so on and soon you feel a bit down in yourself what can you do about it you still got your spirit in your spirit you can get to praise and worship you can put on worship songs praise songs and as you begin to lift up your spirit it begins to have an effect upon your body a recent example of that is my own son-in-law in London who developed the symptoms of the COVID-19 coronavirus and he's feverish he was aching he was getting breathless he was coughing and he began to get very alarmed and concerned but he recognized the hand of God was on his life and he began to despite the breathlessness and the things he was experiencing began to sing a song of praise unto God and as he sang that song as he pressed through and pressed through and pressed through something began to happen the fever came down the aching left the breathless became very minimal and the cough only occasional as he engaged his spirit it had an effect upon his soul and upon his body wow the three one affects the other you ever felt down and but then you've gone out for a walk which is a good thing to do you go out for a walk into beautiful scenery and suddenly you feel lifted you feel lifted in your body lifted in your spirit one affects the other no we must recognize that we're a three-part being we're a three-part being and God wants us whole and the lady we saw at the very beginning in the reading this woman with the issue of blood I guess from the way it's written it's a gynecological condition and it goes on and on and on this bleeding that in itself would make you feel weak and tired and anemic but add to that she lived in a religious culture they said if you had an issue of blood you had to cut yourself off from everyone else imagine that 12 years of being cut off wow that would make you feel low and down and then add to that she spent money on doctors she tried to do things to to get better but nothing worked nothing happened Oh, I can only think that she would begin to think, wow, I must have done something so bad, so wrong. I failed God. I've sinned. I'm guilty. And so spiritually, she'd be so low. Body, soul, spirit. But then into a situation, as she perhaps listened through a wall or through a doorway, she heard a conversation. She heard conversations talking about Jesus. And the mention of the name Jesus began to do something inside her spirit. Something resonated in her spirit. 
So I must go. I must, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. That was something she was forbidden to do, was to go out in the crowd. She was cut off, remember. But nonetheless, she steps out. She goes to where Jesus is. She creeps and she touches the hem of his garment. And the moment she does, healing virtue flows from Jesus and she is healed. Then when Jesus looks at her, she confesses to what she's done. And he says to her, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Daughter, your faith has saved you. Daughter, your faith has healed you. Whole spirit, soul and body. And that's re-emphasized in his next word. He says, go in peace, go in shalom, go in the peace of God that speaks of wholeness and blessedness. Oh, how God wants to see us bless spirit, soul and body. John says that in his letter. I pray you prosper in your spirit and your soul and your body. She went away whole. What a glorious story. That's what God wants for every one of us. Yes, if you're feeling weak in your body, oh, begin to engage your spirit. Begin to take hold of the word of God. Begin to praise him. For God wants you to be made whole. Amen. Father, I pray you just bless everyone who listens this short video I pray you encourage them they might reach out to you and you might touch them in their spirit and their soul and their body I pray you make them whole I pray they might experience the shalom of God the peace of God bless them father right now bless them encourage them heal them in Jesus name amen Amen. Amen. Well, I'd like to thank Pastor Rob for sharing God's word with us this evening. I do pray that it's brought encouragement to you tonight. Know this evening that God is a healing God. He is a miracle working God. And you know what, Gateway, we're a church that believes in the power of prayer. We'd love to pray for you. And maybe you're watching this and you've got a prayer request. Maybe it is for a sickness. Maybe you would like healing in your life then please get in touch with us at gatewaychurchcumbry.co.uk forward slash prayer requests. We'd love to stand with you and believe that God will bring breakthrough and healing into your life. You know, if you maybe you're watching this this evening and maybe you're wondering how can I begin a relationship with Jesus? Well, in a moment, there's going to be a comment that's going to pop up in the comment section on whatever platform you're watching this on. Please like that comment if you would like to have more information about starting a relationship with Jesus. It is the best decision that you will ever make. It's so great that we've been able to meet together as church today online. Please know that we are here for you as a church. We are praying for you. Please stay connected with us through our website and through our social media platforms. And we look forward to joining with you again on Tuesday evening at 7pm for our online prayer meeting. Please have a great week and know that the best is yet to come. God bless.